Hi, everybody. I'm Bob Schwartz, and I am pleased today to be talking with one of the absolute leaders in the field of energy psychology and energy medicine, Dr. Bruce Lipton. Hi, Bruce. How are you? I am so happy to be here with you. Thank you so much for an opportunity to talk to this great community because uh, this is an exciting time for psychology, energy psychology, a new change in health. Uh, and so we're in a, in a revolution, and I, I love to be there at the front line. So we got some wonderful things to talk about. So you're going to be uh, one of our keynotes at the conference on Thursday night. Um, so tell us, give me a, give our, uh, you know, we want to give our audience a, a nice little nugget, something they can use right now that might be of interest <laughs> to them. And oh, well, I'll know. tell you, Go ahead. An, exciting, an exciting thing happened a few months back, and that is um, the head of the National Institute of Mental Health came out with a big broad statement that said the pharmaceutical industry ever since they got involved <laughs> with mental health has actually interfered with the healing of psychology and psychiatrists with all the drugs and so they came, he came down really hard saying we've been manipulated by the pharmaceutical industry and that we should go back more to understanding psychology and how uh, you know influence a person's mind and thought is a more powerful way of affecting healing and health and help than the, all the pharmaceutical drugs that have been prescribed. So in fact, that's what it said. Th these drugs have interfered with things. So it's time to come back to another way of dealing with people's health, and that is through psychology first, no drugs at all. Which then takes us, of course, into the concept of then what is psychology working with? A and the answer is, well, obviously it's interacting with the body, but we always see uh, this, how does this mind-body interface really work? Or is it, you know, it's like, that, oh, mind-body, new age, you know? And it's like, no, no. We are now deep into a new understanding, uh, especially with what is called quantum biophysics, uh, an understanding of a world based on energy rather than matter, which is the way we've looked at the world scientifically for the last 300 years is, oh, focusing on the material realm. Uh, ignoring the invisible and quantum physics has been almost a hundred years I said so, wait you, you you can't ignore this and you can't ignore consciousness because consciousness is manifesting the world it's like oh my god everything we've left out of the conventional medical model the energy the thoughts the spirit all this invisible stuff now turns out to be the primary uh, mechanism of interacting with the physical reality and, and I say, well, why is that important? Well, if you've left out a whole range of, of interaction and then try to understand human behavior by leaving out half the information, well, of course we'd understand what's going on. But now, this is the opportunity for this community to understand that we are now moving out of that pharmaceutical-based, mechanical-based, you are physical body kind of science into recognizing energy is the primary shaper of the world in which we live and uh, you know one quote that if you just stop with this one quote it's like okay that's the whole story and, it, and it's a quote from albert einstein and the quote is uh the field and, and let's just definitely what is the field it's invisible energy that we're bathing in right now we're in an aquarium of energy but it's invisible and it's called the field so quantum physicists refer to it and they say the field and this is from albert einstein the field is the sole governing agency of the particle. What does that mean? Particle is the material realm. And what is Einstein saying? The field, the invisible realm, is the sole governing agency of the physical realm. And once you understand that, then all of a sudden you say, oh my God, then working with a human, you can work with them on a mechanical level, pharmaceutical agents, drugs, and all that kind of stuff, or at a higher level, a higher level of control, work with the energy level. And this is exactly what quantum physics is saying. So it's not a new age, woo woo, mind body thing. It's actually, this is core fundamental physics and new biology epigenetics. And, and the epigenetics is a great story for this organization for a very simple reason. Because there's a part of epigenetics, a main part now is called uh, behavioral epigenetics. Well, first, what the heck is epigenetics? And, and the first thing is this. Most of us have been programmed with a belief in a science called genetics. 
and that is the belief that genes determine our characteristics, both physically, mentally, behaviorally, and so that you are under the control of your genes, <laughs> and your life is not under your control. You're more or less playing out a genetic program that you've been given at the moment of conception. That, that makes us victims. Victims for what reason? Well, I didn't select the genes, and apparently they control my life, and I can't control them, so uh, I'm out of control. That's genetics. But the new science is the revolution. The new science is epigenetics. I go, revolution what? I say, epi means above. So let's say, what have most people been programmed with? A belief in what is called genetic control. Control by genes, that's the belief. The new science is called epigenetic control. I go, okay, what does that mean? Well, epi means above. So now I say, epigenetic control is control above the genes. And I say, what are we finding out? That it's our psychology, our perceptions, our beliefs and attitudes about life, which actually shape our genetics. And I go, well, what's the significance? I say, the significance is profound for this reason. Old story genetics, victim, genes control me. New story, epigenetics, environment and perception control genes. Point I can change my perceptions. I can change my environment. <gasps> I am a master of my genetics. And I go, why is this relevant? Because the new understanding reveals that 90% or more of health issues on this planet have nothing to do with a physical organic body and genes at all, but a way of life, a way of behavior, a way of uh, psychologically uh, uh, being engaged in the world. And I say, yeah, and if we influence those then we influence the physical material body life and energy and health so being here with asap is to me is like a fabulous uh, um, uh opportunity to say what the future is all in this understanding it's like okay look the conventional pharmaceutical metal thing medical about one percent of illness can actually be affected by that when we now 90% of illness is really psychological and perception and belief is like, well, well, that's where you want to go then to work with life, not to the pharmaceuticals thing at all. And so the platform in front of ASAP, hey, all you ASAP people understand this. This is the future of healthcare. This is not pharmaceutical. This is psychology, energy, uh, a dealing with a human in another way. And this community is the, is the advanced group of that. So uh, being there is like, hey, come on, uh, singing in front of the choir, of course, but the fact is this, the choir has to know their song is the song that will be shaping the world in which we live. And therefore, expansion is what ASAP is all about. So let me ask you one thing before, well, we won't go much longer. I'm curious, Bruce, based on, you know, you wrote uh, the biology of belief. I don't know what's, it's been 10 years, right? Didn't it just have its 10 year yes. anniversary? Yes. So um, how's it, do, do you think that it's, you know, finally, you know, this idea that you've been talking about is making it into the mainstream or, you know, what's oh. the level of penetration, if you will? Uh, uh, it's absolutely. What's your, what's your sense of that? It's absolutely uh, becoming mainstream, uh, and of course, there's a, uh, I could give wonderful references because it's all now come into mainstream medical uh, understanding. In fact, even the whole concept of, of uh, the idea of our perceptions overriding our genes are actually the new insights at the leading edge of, of uh, medical research. And so basically, when I started, I always like to joke about it, is when I started uh, 10 or 15 years ago, or more actually, in 1985 on this uh, track, uh, people in the beginning would go, oh my God, you're a crazy man, Lipton. And now, it's interesting because a couple of years ago, I, I, you know, it always makes me laugh when I think about it. A couple of years ago, a scientist who came to one of my lectures at the end of the lecture came up and said, hey, so what are you saying that's new? And so it's like, it was fun because I, I started from freaking them out, but now the same story is now, okay, okay, we, we're getting it. Uh, and the only hesitancy is from the advertising in the public media <laughs> that keeps us from going here because the advertising is coming from drug agencies that say, no, no, take the pill and everything will be okay. 
And the fact is, well, this turns out to be totally false, but it's advertising. Right. And what we need to do is get people to understand this new science is coming out into the public. It's slow because it's not being pushed in mainstream media, but it's in the scientific literature. And the fact is this, this is the wave of healing in the future is not interfering with the physical body, but recognizing the role of energy and psychology is the main uh, shapers of not just our health, but our place in the world. Well, it sounds like we're going to have an exciting uh, talk. You're going to be giving us lots of uh, interesting uh, uh, references. I mean, I, I find it to me, you're right, you're kind of preaching to the choir, right? But it's really helpful to really see and be able to bridge and help facilitate more and more people getting it. You know, there's still, um, yeah, I mean, there's the, you know, yeah, there's the drug commercials and all that. And we see the little, little guys doing their thing. Yeah. Um, but there's also like just a ton of other stuff where it's still not, it's still people are, they don't get it yet. It, I mean, it's slowly getting there. Um, well, you know, we, can, we, we come from a civilization that looks at science as a truth provider. Basically, that's what it says. Look, if you have a question about this universe, you don't go to the church and ask the question anymore. That was the previous civilization. In this civilization, we go to the guy not wearing the black coat, but the white coat, uh, and we say, is this true or not? And then we, we get a, a verification. Oh, it's scientific or it's not scientific. Huh. What's the point? If we say it's scientific, everybody goes, yeah, yeah, sure, right. If they say it's questionable or not scientific, then people look and go, yeah, maybe, or something like that. And here's what the point is, is that the science of energy and energy psychology and energy healing is now a science. And, but it's, but the, even the, the people who use this modality are still being shaped by the public conventional belief. And that's why this opportunity for me is great to say, look, I'm not presenting a new age idea. I want to show you some hardcore number, scientific, objective reality. What you are doing is real, has a real foundation to it. And uh, in fact, it's kind of upsetting to some people who have invested in a different way, uh, such as the medical uh, pharmaceutical industry, uh, when you can say, well, I can heal without the pill. It's like, they don't want to hear that, <laughs> you know? That's, so uh, uh, yeah, but it's, it's time to reinforce the membership to say, let's get real that what we're talking about is science. Anybody comes up to you and has any doubt, you say, no, this is science and here's some reference and fact. This is fact. And that is the freedom. You, oh, I'm doing it scientifically. Then all of a sudden I have great assurance in what I do. I have greater belief in what I do. Right. And why is it relevant? Well, since psychology is the whole interface, if the healer has any doubt, about the legitimacy because of people around them, that will interfere with, with, the, with the energy of the healing process. So the most important thing is, does the healer recognize the fundamental absolute scientific foundation from which they operate, which then gives them the credibility and the reliability of dealing with something rather than looking at it as, well, I know it works, but it's a new age. No, it's not science and i love that part well that's great and bruce i'm looking forward to seeing you in santa clara and um hope everybody can make it thanks so I much hope, i look forward to seeing you there and i look forward to seeing our audience there because uh this is a time to like yes we're we're moving forward because we're we're in the right level playing ground and that's where it's coming from